So um, thanks for joining. I'll be talking today about training and events. Uh, so the all, um, an overview of today's talks will be um, just um, uh, giving the reason why we want to engage users into this training and um, to ensure um, them that they use the facility efficiently, also to help them find where the information is about past training and where to find events for future training. Um, we'll cover a bit on the documentation side, uh, um, an introduction of a beacon feature for more interaction with the documentation and how they can help us to improve it. Um, and also on the help desk support. And uh, finally, I'll just um, show a list of future and training events for end of this year and next year. So what is a Jasmine user support? The Jasmine user support here covers different areas from help desk to docs um, to um, training. Sorry, that Lift the pointer if you used to. Okay. Um, and why we need why we need to do all this and mainly at the training because the training is mainly in helps um, engaging in a one to one basis. It helps also user to interact among themselves and interact with the Jasmine uh, service provider team. Um, and also encourage user to use the facility in a more efficient way through sharing their experience and through exercise and training and promote Jasmine capabilities. So we also in, in this training, we try to um, uh, give example of new services, how to use them. But before deciding on the training, we had to do uh, a bit of work on what is the user needs? What are those training needs? And we base our evaluation on the uh, on analyzing the very common issues from the help desk queries. We looked at uh, the uh, the results that we collected from um, a survey that was run in 2017. We also looked at the feedback that users uh, uh, were participants of the past uh, few Jasmine user conferences events. And uh, finally, we looked at how the documentation has been used from some statistics on top article or category section, also some popular searches keywords. And we came up with a plan of running several training and that can of difference um, uh, on different uh, aspects could be webinars uh, to hands on and this slide summarizes um, um, the past training and events. So we started in uh, 2016, 2017, we're on the first two uh, user conferences on Jasmine and the format of that event had, um, had a, a day or half a day training workshop. And from then, uh, which was really, really uh, uh, welcomed and um, encouraged us to think about having a proper workshop day uh, where we has more of a hands-on and practical uh, exercise. So we started um, the first um, uh, workshop in 2019, but before that we did uh, run a few uh, webinars um, on different aspects of the uh, services. And then, um, sorry, I think the first conference at works, workshop was uh, in 2019, actually it was a hands-on workshop. And we tried when we developed the material for this workshop, it's based on a series of exercise which cover from um, beginner to um, more to advanced intermediate to more advanced uh, um, users. And uh, 2020, we, 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 as we speak now, we're having the first uh, Jasmine online event today. And we did, have, we did run some uh, a, a webinar um, in May and uh, do another workshop, hands-on one uh, at the Met Office this year. 
So where to find the material? So the, all the material, um, including the presentation, the poster, and the conference program are available on, on, on here for the conference 2018, 16, and uh, 17. And as I said, uh, those events had a half a day uh, training session and all the training plus the demo are, are available uh, online um, through this um, uh, radio button. So you can click and you can access the video recording as well as the presentation. And also I'll just point here that um, the conference program is also if, um, uh, useful to have a, to have a look at what, how Jasmine has been used, how Jasmine has helped uh, different projects from different communities. And also it's a way to explore the, uh, the, uh, the uh, capability of Jasmine and also you know, uh, share knowledge with others. And I just mentioned here, there has, we, had, we had some people who, had, the way they came to us was from, from the looking at the Jasmine program, which is quite fascinating that the Jasmine program, they looked at the presentation, they find, yeah, this fits our needs, and we, 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 they contacted us, and they are now as, uh, as our, uh, um, uh, among our users. So, the, um, so this, is, this is just a screenshot of what's presented on the Jasmine uh, um, conference program page. So for the webinar and, uh, and the workshop, everything is available here as it shows on the slides. So the recording um, and the presentation are available and uh, on this website, which is uh, wwc.ac.uk events. And it's um, compromise all, all event, all past events with the, with the associated material as well as the future event so we encourage you to watch to for future events to watch this, this space and if they need access to material to go to the past event and select there's a selection of all e events that we run uh, in, the, um, in the past same applies for the workshop so for the hands-on on jasmine workshop the material is available um, on the um, on the tab and on this web web page it's same what to do with event but under the tab workshop and the the material the exercise the tutorial and the uh, source code if any is also available on the github and all this material links to this GitHub. So um, this, the first page of the GitHub gives an overview of the different exercise and a links to the, um, to the exercise material from, from uh, the resource tab. So I encourage users to have a look at this exercise, um, clone the repository and try to use them. And you can choose from very uh, big for beginners, I would buy exercise one and two uh, to more advanced, like building your own, your own Python environment or compiling uh, parallel codes. For the documentation, we it's uh, constantly in improvement and we are constantly adding uh, documentation for new services and how to use them. And we're constantly restructuring the documentation as we look at the statistics report on how how uh, article has been used, uh, how article of how many times article has been viewed, and also to make an easy way for user to navigate from one topic to the other in, in, in the articles. We welcome reports and feedback from users, and we have now a feature which is this beacon that allows uh, online or on the fly interaction with the documentation. So we encourage you if there is any, any incomplete information or any detail that needs to be added or any of your feedback to get in touch with us through this beacon. And then the other aspects of this user support is the help desk. Of course, the help desk is, main, is, the, is the main main uh, user support, but we, will, we welcome users to contact us through the beacon and because it helps them to self uh, categorize, categorize the, the, their query we make a different tags for that for this and also we want to in, the, in, the, in, describe, in describing the issue 
We really want to have a concise description that will save us time and effort into engaging in a thread of conversation. So any links, uh, any error related to um, um, error messages from, from running the, the scripts or the code, any environment that we need, we need to be aware of. So for example, uh, outputting the env command so we're not exactly at the desk of the user trying to see we are remotely away and that information is very essential for us and also to help us kind of replicate the issue to see um we, to see exactly what is the problem so and also any relevant logs or any user working directory i have to mention here in terms of support we're not giving we're not supporting application for example, WRF or any other application. So we encourage users to contact the developers of any particular application. So we support the application running, but we're not supporting the application build or any other flag added to the application. Future training and events, again, is the same. Uh, future events are also um, listed in this page. So we, we, we we're planning to run um, the Jasmine hands-on workshop this time uh, in, a, in the vir a virtual mode, uh, probably in November, but please watch this, this space on uh, future events. We're also thinking of running a webinar on the available Jasmine software stack as, as the software is a vital component of all the uh, analysis uh, platform and Lotus. And um, there will be probably another webinar on batch computing in Zix Learn. We did, we did have one that was more of a transition from the old Shadow LSF to Slurm, but this second one will be more on, of an advanced and intermediate to advanced, which cover different features and different workaround for, for um, features that are not native to Slurm. And uh, finally, well, depending again on the COVID uh, situation, uh, we're planning to run the Jasmine 2020 um, uh, conference next year. And at the end, I encourage users, I uh, encourage you uh, who are using um, uh, um, extensively Jasmine to contribute and uh, share your expertise with us to help us deliver additional training and events for different specific application, for example, R, CUDA, machine learning, singularity. Also, we, we really appreciate your help to improve any relevant documentation that we need to expose to users on this specific application. So please get in touch and contact us if you have any ideas to contribute to training. And uh, thank you for your attention. <laughs>